All right, my little altar kit is done that I have painted. There's the inside. I lined the inside with some felt. I'm gonna wrap this candle up in that tissue paper, but this candle I created the other day. It's for protection and blessings. So that's good to go. I made a spell jar. It is for uh, protection in the home. That is going to go in there. And this will be all packaged nicely so it doesn't get tossed around. That is going in there. I thought it was appropriate considering the theme. I've got two feathers I'm putting in there. So I'm putting stuff in there that's going to connect with all four elements. This an herb grinder. I love that. Tree of life. Um, trying to do this one handed here. A candle holder. I've got paper, petition paper. I've got um, petrified wood. I've got a bell. Another crystal, heart shaped. This is a jasper worry stone. I freaking love this and I almost want to keep it, but I won't. A seashell. Got a little notebook. I'm gonna have to re put this in there. Um, my friend down the street, Prayers of Nature, makes these. There is a uh, blue corn flower in there. So that is an altar tray. That's going in there. I've got some incense I'm gonna put in there. I have an altar card that my son drew, Jared, my artiste son. And bam, the new sticker. And I've got this cute little seal if you want to put it on one of your jars or on your book or wherever you want to put it. I just thought it was cute. I made that this morning. Uh, I got, oops, this little guy I'm going to put in there. And I'm going to put some other incense in there that I have. Um, hopefully they'll fit. But that is going to be a bizarre, bizarre event. If you're in Wilton, New Hampshire, um, all the information is posted on our Facebook page. Uh, you can find information at Prayers of Nature, too. But I love it. Let me know what you think.